Now we try to do the things a little bit better. It's not a, we have one class for inputting the data, but this uh, we'll uh, analyze tomorrow how to do this class. Today we, uh, we uh, concentrate on the second task. We have one class to execute the task, meaning calculating the, uh, the solution. Um, uh, the classes, as I say uh, many times in, in this place, I, uh, classes are uh, usually a, a thought to represent objects, but in this case they represent actions, algorithms, things, and, uh, and each one encapsulates some concept. Meaning not a, not a chair, like I say, but some algorithm. An algorithm we use and not a, is not a method, a routine. In, uh, in an object-oriented programming, usually can be a class. And we have to understand the trade-off for doing a class or maintaining like a method of a class, depending on the problem we create with the class. So, for solving the things, we build a class that we, can, we, uh, uh, we call linear equation solver. In this case, I, I used a, a, a way to, uh, to um, uh, use a way to, be, uh, to have all the uh, variables private. In particular, we have three variables, A, B, and SOL, which is the solution. And uh, SOL, uh, SOL also was uh, initialized to the local and I use a particular type of initialization there that I use a, the class double dot NAN, which is not a number, it's a particular sign in Java that allows us to treat uh, things that are strange, not a number, not numbers. Here, uh, in this class, I put uh, uh, three methods three main methods. As you see, the situation here, here is much more complicated. One method is the main, meaning that uh, the main is the, uh, let's say, the schedule of the execution. So the main execute the code and uh, take all the other methods in this place of the class and, uh, and execute them. Then we have two uh, Two other methods. One method is, has the same name of the class. It is called linear equation solver. That could be uh, could, could could look uh, strange here. And this method is a constructor. Each class has a, uh, usually has a, a, a method to build an object of that class. This concept was not present in the previous expression that I wrote. Here instead I use in the class a constructor of, of, the, of the class, meaning that I can invoke this, um, uh, this method inside the class to build a new object of, of the class. Here actually I, I uh, betrayed uh, my, uh, my session that I did before, one class, one responsibility. Because uh, actually here, I construct the object, the new class, uh, with, the, with this con constructor, but also I go to execute the code. But that is because the, the thing is particularly simple, so I didn't need a further method to solve the class. But here I do it actually with a constructor, I do two operations. Because the, uh, the variable are private, I need a way to assess the values of the, of the variable. So I have uh, construct another method, which is public, which serves data to get the A, the B, and the, and the solution. In the main, we already know. 
So uh, here I, I am explaining uh, what it is. A constructor, any class actually has a constructor. If we don't declare a constructor for a class, a class in Java has a default method which is the name of the class, parentheses, with no fields inside. And this always can be, you, always you can build an object for a class, even if you don't declare the constructor. <coughs> In this case, uh, we declare a specific constructor. Uh, any class uh, can, be, can have uh, even more than one constructor. Because uh, here we have, we have a linear equation solver, parentheses A and B. And comma B, meaning that uh, uh, when I initialize a, uh, an object, I put inside the value of A and B. But I could have, uh, at the same time, have another constructor without putting inside the A and B, and obviously then I have to provide another way to give the, the A and B. So in any class can have many constructors, depending on the use that I do in line languages like C++, there are not only the constructor, but of the contrary of the constructor to delete the object. Because in C++, you have to create an object and then sometimes to destroy the object, to cancel the object from the memory. In Java, there is not this construction, because Java uh, has, a, has a garbage collector, meaning that uh, I, yesterday I said that Java is a lot of things. And in particular, one uh, feature of Java is that it has a garbage collector, meaning you don't have to uh, uh, delete to remove the, the, variable, the variables you declare from the memory. <coughs> and at least the objects that are not uh, uh, perennial in the program, when you close the program, everything closed. Everything close. Um, the object in Java are destroyed in another way. There is a program, which is the garbage collector, that uh, goes, looks through the memory, and uh, looks for those parts of the memory that which are not referenced by the, anymore by any things inside the program. And then clean that space, that garbage collector. Chunks of uh, reference that are not more connected in memory are uh, Free. This was adopted because uh, 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 deleting the free in the memory was uh, always thought as a source of errors in the C and C++. And so the allocation of the memory uh, was a problem, an error problem. And so uh, this was devoted to a specific machine, the garbage collector, that does this work for you. In the first version of Java, this was also uh, doing, uh, doing some, something wrong in the program because some, not something wrong, it was uh, slowing down sometimes the execution because sometimes during the execution the garbage collector started and then your program was idle to understand that the garbage collector was cleaning. Like uh, if uh, someone comes here to clean, to clean our room and they push out uh, us from the room <laughs> and uh, we have to wait. Now in, in our machine that have multiple cores, uh, this is threaded to be a different core so we don't see any, almost any slowing down of the, of the action. <coughs> One thing that the class is, is uh, intended to do is, uh, is do information hiding. That's why I declare it private. Um, in a sense, the code you, uh, you, uh, you, you write a code, you do the, your code to another person, uh, the person shouldn't know what is the internal of the code. When you cook on, in the kitchen, you don't know how actually the kitchen works. You don't care. You, uh, you have the, the, the external of the uh, kitchen and the way you know how to uh, um, put the heat 
and uh, all this stuff and everything work you 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 know and this is uh, you have the right interfaces to the to the kitchen but you don't know the antenna you never touch the antennas of the phone of the kitchen and you concentrate only on the task of doing something good to eat <coughs> that's in information hiding uh, which is actually applied anywhere and uh, uh, information hiding also has a, a, an effect on programming you uh, you have to program a class in a way that uh, you give out to people only the information that you they need no more no, no less this also you, uh, is uh, useful for the for, for obtaining the concept that I illustrated in the first slide. Robust, uh, robust, uh, robustness of the paper, that's the of the paper, of the, of the code. And uh, making the code manageable, making the code re reusable. Declaring well, uh, uh, well thing. About Java Constructor, we are already uh, we already talked about uh, the Java the Java constructor can have or not have parameters. So first we start uh, uh, in this uh, we have three methods. We look at the method each one each time. We start from the main because the main is uh, giving us a, uh, the way it executes. <coughs> First line, we have the variable, De declare the variable. Here I didn't declare the, if they are private, if not uh, public, private, or uh, obviously these are public. Because it's not safe. And I assign the value three and four. Then we have a couple of lines here that they always good to, to understand if the where the program is if the program has started or not. Here the I want to know the end of computation. Now the new thing the new thing is uh, this is a declaration of a class which is can be uh, quite complicated at the first sight. Then you get used to it. There is a, a statement, a new. The statement new, what does the statement new? The statement new called the constructor, called the method, which is called linear equation solver. Usually, you have to, to, to call a method of a class, you have to put the class name and the method name, except for the constructor. The constructor, you just put the constructor name, the name of the class with the field A and B. That's on the right side. Okay. On the left side instead, <coughs> there is another thing. On the right side there is a declaration of the variable. I say that the variable that I call LL is a, a, a type, as a type, and the type is a linear equation solver. So, you will use maybe in other language to have the primitive types like double, float, you record a number, which is a double, you record a, an integer. Here you can, obviously, if you are, you are in an object oriented pro program, you can return an, ob an object. And you, uh, and, and a variable can be an object. Your variable LL is an object of type linear equation solver. Uh, the right, uh, as I said, uh, the right thing made two things. So I uh, first I announced a principle, one class, one responsibility, and immediately I violated it. <coughs> it does two things. One is uh, Allocate the memory the object, and the other thing is to <laughs> solve the equation. Then we see. <coughs> the, 
because in the linear equation solver the fields uh, in the linear equation solver class the fields are private we can go behind here to see you see the variable the fields the first one, the variable the are declared private you cannot see outside nobody the only way to you have to assess that variable is uh, which is kind of uh, the strange thing if you want is to declare a, a public method inside the class not outside the class you can assess the private thing only inside the class so you have a private method that uh, which is get solution the method that is uh, uh, as the keys to access the solution mm. then we will see how the get solution is made and uh, here you see also uh, how to assess a method of, a, of an object you have a class which is linear equation solver you have an object LL which is a, an, an object of that class linear equation solver and you can call a method that acts actual, actually on that just on that object and the way to do is to do, put the point here and call the method here you don't have to declare A and B for instance because A and B, they are just embedded in the object. So when you do an action on the object, you do an action having all the information that the object contains. Then obviously here we print the solution. If you want here the uh, use a little more complex uh, format of the, of the printing that you were not used before, because uh, you see a string is contained by quotes then to join string you use the symbol plus the symbol plus that appear it says you take the string the solution of space you add the a a is actually a number but there is a, an internal um, casting of the number a into a string A and then is joined and uh, you see here another uh, uh, thing that is prop a property of uh, um, object oriented programming which is polymorphism polymorphism means that certain operations uh, can have the same name but acts on different things <coughs> Here you have the sum that acts on strings. You are used to uh, have the sum that acts on numbers. But you, if you think the sum of an of integer, of a double, of a float, of a strings has different meanings. Each of we, each one of these object, objects is not exactly because they are primitives, actually has a different uh, meaning for plus same of main operation different actions each action is different on a different object anyway and so it's a printed solution he printed uh, everything the solution of uh, a x plus b equals zero is x uguale so equal so here is equal equal which is the the equality sign, you know, the equality sign is different thing. If you use it in Java and in C, for just one equality it means a, a, an assignment. Here is a, an equation, so an equivalence, which is different. <coughs> that was the name. Then we have another method. The other method is uh, uh, the constructor. So the constructor uh, um, 
we see that this public. That's obvious. Okay. Uh, you get you get an input of the constructor two variables a and b. Uh, that is also the declaration of how the constructor works. Before we didn't see that uh, a and b are double. Here you declare also the type of the variable you get to the input uh, to to the method. And here we did we do a little uh, first test. Uh, I assume that you have an elementary knowledge of some language, or even not elementary knowledge of some language, that is even better. And uh, <coughs> the first is an if else, an if else statement. Uh, you can uh, switch between cases with if and else in, uh, in Java. And it say if a is not equal to zero, then solve the solution is equal to minus b divided by a. Mm. One thing to note here is that you, you don't have a, a in, internally to this method, you don't have any declaration of what sol is. But uh, the, the method knows what sol is because it, this is a field of the class and any method of the class actually know the field of the class. <coughs> Else, in case a is not equal to zero, uh, we do, we give an error code. Uh, in the in the Java language, to give an error code uh, means S uh, say, say throwing, and there is this keyword which is throw, an error code. An error code actually is, uh, there are a kind of 10,000 standard error, error codes in Java, of which somewhere I put a reference to the 50 more used error code. You can also build your own error codes. In, in one late lesson, uh, lecture, maybe we see how to put, to create error error code. Actually, they are because here you see now I go here. Okay, here you see new throw is a statement of the language. New is the command that you see before and tell us that runtime exception is actually a class. The error codes are classes, different type of classes that do some action. Uh, usually, uh, to the error code, code you have, uh, you put a string that explains a little bit what is happening. And that's the, 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 the that's the duty of telling you something. And they say a solution does not exist. In this case, if z a equal to zero, not really true because if b is also equal to zero, the solution, uh, the equation is not identity. So this is not exactly true. Mm. Uh, here I add that the sol is visible because the sol is a static variable. So I, I don't have to pass in some way the, the variable. Uh, what I, I, I just realized that uh, that was not correct and uh, I had to say maybe say this solution it, it, this is the trivial identity zero equal to zero is if also b is zero. So I actually threw uh, two runtime exceptions. I instantiate two classes, two error. One that say that the 
there is no solution, but the other says it, there is a possibility to do it. Actually, the equation is, a, is a, an identity. This is to say, uh, to show also you a part of the solving the problem, that you have to take care of a, a certain number of passages. So, so if you want to summarize the passages, first we have to look at our problem, split the problem in various tasks. Think to, if you have to assign to each task a class or a method, or just a method or, or a class, or we decide to split the class, the, to split the, our task in, in three classes, and we analyze just one classes. In our classes, we first see uh, what the constructor is, and uh, because we declare all the variable private, we have to put also a, a solution to get the solutions of the class. In this, in this specific case, we also saw for the first time that we what is an object is a, a particular instance of a class that we have to create with the constructor and with the declarator, which is this command, which is true. In here you can find uh, the uh, 50 more simple uh, code. Uh, we didn't talk uh, actually about the get solution method. The get solution uh, say that what well if for some for some reasons the A and B is, are not numbers. Because I put something, I have also to give an error just from the treatment of the error. Here I am in trying to make the code robust. I, I say, okay, I analyze all the cases where A and B are numbers, but what if uh, A and B are not numbers? I cannot find the solution. So here, in get the solution, I put a, a further check. Say, I get the solution if it's not a, it's not a number. Otherwise, I uh, uh, return solve. Uh, here I am also doing again uh, this history about boxing and unboxing, meaning that I use double dot na na nan, which is a particular field that to, in, to identify in the class double. They're not not a number. But then I am using it inside a program that use number, meaning primitives. And this has a cost in unwrapping the class. This is a, here you see another statement. If you want the method to return a value, you have to put the return statement, which is the, you, you did. You don't need to put a record statement to have. There are several ways to have a record from a, the action of a class. Because it, uh, internally to a method, you can assign the values of the field of the class, for instance. And then, because they belong to a class, to the class, you don't have to, to record them again. Sometimes, anyway, to do change of programming, for instance, in function, functional style of programming, you want to have a return to return something from a method in order to change, to return a number that the get is taken by another routine, then it does another thing, so at the end you have uh, your final result. Hmm. Here I am, I am also um, uh, reworking a little bit the main method. Uh, we have seen that uh, uh, you, we can treat the, sometimes the, uh, the errors. There is a, a specific statement in Java that allows to, to, to deal with the, with the errors. And with this, the try catch type of statement. You see, try brace the things that we already see before and then catch 
the, the trade and catch thing is, is made in a way that if the trade doesn't go, uh, some error code is uh, here. Uh, because this operation obviously makes the program more verbose, so is, uh, we have to understand in, in our programming if you have to put these try and catch things. Put to lo to a lot of try and catch things can be dangerous from the point of view of view or readability. So one of the of the uh, my uh, pillars of programming say program must be readable, must be short. If we start to add these features that here I am a little showing to you in a little pedantic way, we make our code longer and less readable maybe. Sometimes can be used to a way to read the error. Especially if we are building libraries. You always have to think not just programming or having a task, but building a library to collect together later on to obtain a task and then the rearrange in, in future. So anytime that you have a new task, you can bring with you your previous work. If you just work on the task, anytime you have to redo all the stuff. Maybe at the 10 times that you do redo all the stuff. The first 10 times you can redo all the stuff. The 11th time you have to, you start to say, oh, the thing that I do more and more, maybe I put in a library and I reduce. So that's uh, the that's the summary of the thing. We analyze the mathematical problem. Analyzing the domain is always important. If you are if you look at yourself as a programmer, and uh, you have you can split your identity maybe into a programmer and a scientist. The scientist of you has the problem. The programmer of you is the, the one that uses a, a, a program code to solve the problem. So first, the scientists work and try to define the domain of the problem with all the things. Then the, the programmer put the code in the more, in, in the more feasible, maintainable, short, easy to understand way. Then you have to do that. So that's time.